I've been involved in the loop since it started in 2013. Um, so I was involved in the, all the loops early work, setting up welfare services at Park Life, um, lost and found warehouse projects, uh, doing training for the clubs like Fabric in London when they lost a license, went down and trained them guys. Uh, and I was I managed the hand reduction workers at the first UK drug checking service in 2016. The problem with testing at events is it's all right at festivals. It's I think it's a bit more difficult than a nightclub where people have already been out drinking and all the rest of it. You know, if you want them to absorb them harm reduction messages. So we are looking at pushing out city centre testing, which we've already piloted in Bristol and Durham, and it, and it seemed to have worked. Uh, and it, and we're looking, and it's just been announced, actually, that we're going to start city centre testing every month in Bristol. And hopefully we'll be able to take that model to all the cities. And that's much more of a European model. It's much more like DIMS in Holland. Um, where And I think the other good thing about city centre testing is it encourages people to plan in advance so rather than just buying a pill off some stranger in a club and getting it tested, you're buying the week before, you're planning, you know what you're going to take, you're getting it tested the week before, and you've got an idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably the way it's going to end up going. In general terms, it's really important. In an illegal market, people don't know what they're buying, and that's just as true for heroin and crack users as it is for ecstasy users at a festival. So, yeah, first of all, it's important to know what you're taking. You know, that, that that goes without saying. But I think one of the things that's been really good from doing the loop is, is that it, it's also a way of reaching out to groups of people that have never taught to help professionals about drug use before because they've, they've not got an addiction, they've not got a problem. They're just recreational users. And so I think when we've looked at our figures, nine out of 10 people who use our services have never discussed their drug use with a healthcare professional before. Uh, and we allow them to do that. So I, I think it, in, in terms of reaching out to underserved communities, I think there's a real bit of, bit of importance there as well. People are always going to take drugs. It's just learning yeah. the importance of how to do it properly. That's why we did our Crushed Up Weight campaign back in 2016, which was all about safer MDMA dosing, because we were watching people taking like a third of a gram. And that's 300 milligrams. That's a lot of MDMA. Did you ever struggle to get um, venues or companies on board with your kind of drug testing? Just because I feel like some were, you know, would maybe think that by using the loop, they're kind of enabling or promoting the consumption of drugs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the places like Boomtown, Secret Garden Party, Kendall Calling, all the other festivals that have had us on site, I think have been really brave with the decisions. And I'm not going to name other organisations who've had the service offered to them, who've turned it down, uh, and they've come out with all sorts of silly excuses. Uh, but yeah, we've offered the service to other people who just said for their own reasons, no. Um, some of the bigger festivals in the country, which is why I'm not going to name them, Mm -hmm. um, and let's hope we don't have problems in the next doing their events because potentially we can get in, in the way of those problems happening. Uh, drug checking is just another harm reduction okay. intervention and they're proven to work. You know, just saying no doesn't work. Treating people as adults, discussing the concerns, discussing the risks and discussing ways of reducing those risks does work. How does it actually work? How do people come and, you know, use your services? So people will drop their sample in a box and they'll get a number, and they'll go out to the lab, and they'll get tested by the lab. Um, they'll come back about an hour later, and they'll get a 15-minute intervention with one of our healthcare workers, so the nurses, drugs workers, doctors, etc., all been trained by the loop. Um, and then as part of that intervention, um, we, we talk about the general drug use, what they know about the general drug use, how to reduce the risks generally. Then we talk about the specific sample and talk about what the risks involved in that sample are and potential ways of uh, reducing the risks associated with that drug. We've had people queuing around the block okay. at festivals. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I think when we first started doing it, people were a bit unsure how they're going to get arrested coming out, but obviously the police have agreed not to do that. Okay. Um, and so once, I think once the words got around, people have been really keen to use the service.